Did you know that by the age of 30, your body's natural collagen production drops by nearly 1% every year? And by the age of 40, collagen drops dramatically, leading to signs of aging such as wrinkles, skin sagging, skin drying, and loss of energy. Studies suggest that women lose about 30% of skin collagen in the first five years of menopause. The decline is more gradual after that, and if you think it's natural to have saggy skin with increasing age, you couldn't be more wrong. Let me begin with a statement that is a true statement, and I hope you all remember it. Muscle knows no age. In other words, whether you're 9 or 90, you can have a strong, fit, healthy body. It's not a bad idea to Google 100-year-old athletes and just have a look at what they're doing. 80% of skin aging is actually caused by external factors, not genetics. Yet, despite this, the global beauty industry rakes in over $500 billion annually, selling you creams and serums that rarely deliver lasting results. So, what if the key to staying youthful didn't lie in a fancy bottle, but was hidden in something as simple as hydration and the foods you eat? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and check the links in the description of natural supplements packed with all the essential nutrients. Today, we will discuss some simple, effective ways to naturally slow down the aging process that Big Pharma doesn't often talk about. Now, you might ask yourself why that is. Well, the pharmaceutical industry is focused on profits, not necessarily prevention. But our bodies have an incredible ability to heal and renew themselves when we give them the right tools that come from nature. While the beauty industry keeps pushing expensive creams, serums, and pills, Mother Nature has been quietly offering solutions for centuries. And today, I will not just share with you those natural anti-aging secrets, we will also see what our underground health guru, Barbara O'Neill, has to say about it. Now, keep this under your hat, because what I'm about to share is for your eyes and ears only. So what's the first, most essential step in this natural anti-aging journey? It's water something so simple, yet so overlooked. Water is the most essential element in our lives. Our bodies are designed to function optimally when they are hydrated, yet this basic need is often overlooked. Water is not just a beverage, it is a vital nutrient. The human body is made up of about 70% water, and that water is crucial for almost every single biological process that happens inside us. Every cell in our body depends on water to transport nutrients and oxygen, remove waste, and maintain its structure. Your skin, being the largest organ, is no exception. What does the skin need for it to be an effective organ of elimination? Yes, it needs you to be well hydrated and the steam sauna is incredibly effective at getting that waste out. But make sure you go in well hydrated. You can't hydrate your body half an hour before the steam bath and juice will not hydrate you. It must be water. So start early in the morning, little by little by little, have your water. When you're dehydrated, your body prioritizes vital organs like the brain and heart, leaving your skin last in line. This results in skin losing its plumpness, elasticity, and youthful glow. You might start noticing fine lines and wrinkles an early sign that your body is thirsty. Think of your skin cells like plump, juicy grapes. When they're hydrated, they remain smooth and vibrant. Dehydrate them, and they shrivel up like raisins, accelerating the visible signs of aging. Now, you don't have to just take my word for it. Let's hear from health educator Barbara O'Neill herself. She explains how proper hydration, combined with minerals like magnesium, plays a vital role in pulling water into your cells and keeping your body energized and balanced. Here's what she has to say. Something else happens. When that water is pulled inside the cell, there's a little motor inside the cell membrane and when the water rushes through the membrane, it causes that little motor to spin, which gives us a unit of energy. It's not incredible what they know about the inside workings of the cell. So when everyone at work is going to have a cigarette outside and a cup of coffee to get some energy, all you have to do is find a tree, breathe in and out through your nose, have the Celtic salt, the glass of water, and you'll go in charged. Maybe take your shoes off and walk around the tree a few times. 
I wouldn't do that if there were dog droppings. <laughs> According to Barbara Water, naturally heals our body. Next on our list is collagen. Collagen is the protein that keeps our skin firm, elastic, and youthful. Many people don't realize you can naturally boost collagen production through the foods you eat. Barbara suggests not relying on expensive collagen powders or supplements because nature provides everything your body needs to make collagen on its own. Let's explore some of the key foods that play a critical role in this process. First and foremost is vitamin C, which is crucial for collagen synthesis. Foods like oranges, grapes, kiwis, and berries are stuffed with this vitamin, which helps your body produce collagen. Just one serving can provide more than your daily requirement. Next, we have leafy greens such as spinach and kale are also important. These greens are packed with vitamins A, C, and K, as well as minerals like iron and calcium. They contribute to overall health by supporting immune function, promoting bone health, and providing essential nutrients that help combat oxidative stress. Nuts and seeds provide essential minerals like zinc and copper, which are vital for collagen production. A handful of almonds or pumpkin seeds not only makes a great snack, but also offers healthy fats, protein, and vitamin E, known for its antioxidant properties. These nutrients work together to support skin vitality by promoting cell repair and regeneration. Additionally, the protein and amino acids from these snacks play a crucial role in building new skin cells, ensuring your skin remains vibrant and resilient. Generous amounts of protein, because every me every membrane around every cell is 50% protein. And, the, and you saw in my DNA lecture, the body needs amino acids to build new cells. So we need protein. Nutrients found in amino A. You know, you talk so much about, you know, these healing herbs and, and the vitamins that, you know, God, and the minerals that God's provided us with. If you could give, and, and, I, and I hate to even just make you like choose, but those of us who really want to focus on our building our immune system and healing our body and strengthening our body, what would you say are a handful of things that, uh, of herbs or vitamins, minerals that you would absolutely recommend we'd be taking daily? Okay, well, I'll tell you what I do. I take nothing. I take only food, but as much as possible organic. I eat dark green leafies every single day. I have fresh fruit at breakfast. I'll tell you what I had for breakfast. I had uh, cherries and grapes because it's summer now. I had some almonds and a couple of brazils. I had some sourdough toast with a little olive oil, cayenne pepper, avocado, and brown lentils on top. That's my favorite breakfast. So that breakfast, I know, will supply everything that I need. But for those who don't like to have lentils for breakfast, they might have um, millet porridge. And in that millet porridge, oh, I forgot to say that I dipped my cherries in chia seeds. So in the millet porridge, they might have a little honey, they might have a little organic... Um, soy milk or almond milk or coconut milk. They might have chia seeds on top. They might chop up bananas or different fruits through it and have some nuts. So that's a meal that has everything that we need. It's also finding out what your children like and coming in with that, of course, in within reason. And so for lunch, let me tell you what I had for lunch yesterday. I had a big salad had tomatoes and cucumber and a few olives and lettuce in it. My daughter made a grated potato bake where she grated up a whole lot of potatoes, mixed it with oil and salt, put it in a tray and baked it. That was delicious. We had ratatouille, which was tomato and zucchini with some brown lentils in that. And it was her birthday, so we made a cake. <laughs> we made a cake out of um, spelt flour. So um, we have a cake on occasions if there's a birthday or something. We make it with uh, coconut sugar and olive oil, spelt flour. And you can Google and find some lovely recipes for that. <coughs> so I like to do what Hippocrates said, that food be your medicine, medicine be your food. But it's not just what you put into your body. It's also about how you move. That's where height comes in supercharging your skin from the inside out. 
Barbara explains how those intense bursts of activity boost blood circulation, delivering more oxygen and nutrients to your skin cells, giving you a healthy glow. Hyatt triggers the release of endorphins, which help reduce stress leading to fewer breakouts and skin issues like acne. Sweating during a Hyatt session helps clear out pores, detoxifying your skin. Plus, these short, intense workouts stimulate the release of human growth hormone, which remains active for 24 hours. When combined with a balanced diet and hydration, Aishayat helps you stay fit while investing in vibrant, youthful skin. The next natural anti-aging secret is sleep. Sleep is often referred to as the body's natural repair mechanism, and for good reason. Ever noticed how a sleepless night shows up on your face? That's because sleep isn't just rest. It's your body's natural beauty treatment, working on deep cellular repair while you dream. During sleep, your body goes into recovery mode, where it can heal and regenerate cells. This process is crucial for maintaining overall health, particularly for your skin. So when you are drooling on bed, your body produces growth hormones that are vital for tissue growth and muscle repair. These hormones play a key role in repairing damaged skin and promoting the production of collagen, which helps keep your skin firm and youthful. This is why a lack of sleep can lead to dull skin, fine lines, and an overall tired appearance. Melatonin and epithalamin are two powerful hormones that play a crucial role in the body's repair process, particularly at night. Melatonin, often known as the sleep hormone, is produced by the pineal gland in response to darkness and helps regulate your sleep-wake cycle. But it's not just about sleep quality. Melatonin is also a potent antioxidant. It neutralizes harmful free radicals that can damage skin cells, helping to protect your skin from premature aging and oxidative stress. During sleep, melatonin also supports the body's production of collagen, which keeps the skin firm and resilient. Pineal gland releases four hormones every night, but only in certain hours. In the uh, winter time, it's between nine and two. And I think your summertime ends end of October, is that right? We call it daylight saving. So in Australia, I think daylight savings just about begun. And that when daylight saving, so at the moment you're still on summertime, yeah? So at the moment it's between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. Why only those times? It has much to do with the moons and the tides. Um, light and dark signals are fed through the optic nerve to a control centre in the brain where your body clock is located. And your body clock communicates with the pineal gland. And these are the hormones that are released. One is melatonin. A lot of people have heard of melatonin. Some people that don't sleep very well take melatonin. Well, we naturally release melatonin in that time, and it's called the fix and rejuvenate nighttime hormone. So it is this hormone that probably is mostly responsible for the fix and rejuvenation that's happening in our brain and our body while we sleep. Barbara further explains how another hormone, epithalamin, secreted by the pineal gland, has profound anti-aging effects. Epithalamin slows down aging. Everyone over the age of 25 likes that one. Research shows that it can stimulate the production of melatonin and increase the activity of enzymes that repair DNA. This means epithalamin helps the body regenerate at a cellular level, reducing the wear and tear of aging and supporting skin regeneration. Together, melatonin and epithalamin help the body repair itself overnight making sleep an essential time for maintaining youthful, healthy skin. By ensuring proper rest, you're allowing these hormones to do their work repairing cells, enhancing collagen production, and detoxifying the skin. This shows just how important sleep is, not only for your overall health, but also for keeping your skin vibrant and glowing. So, there you have it, simple, natural ways to fight aging without breaking the bank. Remember to hydrate, eat the right foods, move your body, and get enough sleep because the secret to staying youthful is already within your reach. And if you're looking for an extra boost to support your skin and overall health, I've included links in the description of some natural supplements which are packed with the nutrients. Be sure to check those out and let me know how they work for you. Also, don't miss my next video, where I'll be diving into the incredible benefits of castor oil, featuring insights from Barbara O'Neill. It's another natural remedy you won't want to miss. So like, share, and subscribe for more tips and insights, and I'll see you in the next video.